Hello everyone, Jess here, and today we will be reading chapter 627 of Gintama, which the translations actually came out a little bit earlier than usual this week, but I was at with the family yesterday, so didn't have the time to uh, read it as soon as I would like, but the time has come now, so uh, I'm not going to really talk, just want to read the chapter because the new episode of Gintama is coming out like 20-something minutes, so it's just like the perfect time to just do one after the other, and it's the Obro <laughs> episode this week. Gonna be interesting. But for now, we'll be talking the Silver Soul arc. My review for that, by the way, of the uh, chapters that have come prior come prior to this point. My notes are almost finished for that. I will definitely be recording it sometime this week. So without further ado, let's begin. Footsteps. Amanto, they're all running from <laughs> Get Omaru and her, uh, and her friends, I guess we could call them. Lesson 627. Peace and destruction are two sides of the same coin. C.S. Shinbachi and Kagura. The Liberation Army is collapsing. Tudocho, zoom on his face. Lots of panels on this page of pretty much everybody. One by one by one. All the people who contributed to the battle, very, very many of them. There is Kyube. Hopefully she's okay. Let her live. We won, for now. <laughs> Everyone cheers. We did it. We finally did it. We got the Liberation Army to retreat. Ginchan, we did it. Yes, now peace has been restored to Kabuki. Ginchan. <laughs> of course, Gintoki, uh, he, uh, he, he's the last panel of the last chapter. He, call it, he caused a few issues. <laughs> you don't see son? What is it you're doing there? It seems the whole Liberation Army has gone off somewhere. Still, I was quite relieved to see you all safe. I had been worried sick. I had I thought with Edo being the state that it's in, someone might have gotten hurt. But I had faith that everyone would be all right. Boom. After all, mankind is destined to be slaughtered by my hand. <laughs> oh dear gosh. Ah, oh, Kentucky. I almost feel bad for you humans, but now you shall begin to know true fear. Would you like to know the details of my horrifying plan? <laughs> Just to take the flower back. Well, to begin with, it's not just the flowers and plants. I want to continue to protect the flowers I found on this planet known as humans. That is my one desire as a florist. Which means that this planet is a flower. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to somehow figure out how to fix this flower permanently with something better than tape, I suppose. <laughs> Which means that this planet is a flower bed created for the sole purpose of being trampled under my feet. You humans continue to survive simply because I allow it. You're nothing but pathetic flowers. One flower may not take long to wilt on its own, but as a bouquet, they will... <laughs> I want to see what they do with like the animation and voice acting with this when we finally get it animated. Um, uh... But as a bouquet, they will not dry out too easily. And if and as one of the flowers of this planet, I would like to bloom along with everyone else. Uh, is it gonna stay now? <laughs> I can't get my hands on. <laughs> and when those flowers go into full bloom, this planet will forever be a flower garden of peace. Oh dear, Gene, what did you do? <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> you, you bastard, what did you do? It can't be. That seal, what have you done? It's over. You humans along with me and the universe itself are all... <laughs> Transvestite Pub one half Happy Grand Opening, Chris Matsunosuke. Jam this giant flower thing into his head. <laughs> that was close. A little longer and I would have... And all, and uh, a little longer, and all would have ended. I promise to repay this debt, human. I will not let you. As long as I am here, you will not be allowed to do as you please. Head her up. Hoo hoo! You're wasting your <laughs> dual personalities. Half of your body is in my hands. Soon, this body, along with the whole universe, will be dyed the color of darkness. Oh dear! I shall protect Earth and all mankind. I shall destroy Earth along with mankind. <laughs> Gin, what are you doing over there? I can't tell exactly what you're doing, but it looks fun. It sure has been a while, yes. Since everyone smiled like this, peace really is the best. 
Kentucky, I love you. You're probably, this is all your fault, Kentucky, but we love you anyway. Peace really is the best, yes? Yeah. It sure is. Oh, Yato, you can see those umbrellas. Is this gonna bring Kamui back in the street? I don't think that Kamui would uh, be involved with uh, the Liberation Army. I don't see why he would be. But um, to see his character, what sort of role he would take in this arc will be intriguing, whether that happens now or later on. Um, and it's night. Damn, never thought I'd live to, never thought I'd see the day when Kabuki Cho was lit up with moonlight and bonfires instead of neon signs. It's a town that's noisy all year round, not that I'm complaining, but nights like this are nice every once in a while. Still, it's the good it's good the town made it to nighttime at all. Yeah, now we need the morning sun to shine on it all again and we'll call it a job well done. Sheesh, who thought that getting to tomorrow would be such a huge task? Tomorrow always used to come, even if we just sat around and did nothing. Now, unless we grab it by the labels and threaten it, we uh, might not get, we might not make it through the entrance again. They did so well. Is that still not going to be enough to make it to tomorrow? We ain't the ones who ain't got enough. It's just the enemy's got too much. We did manage to bring them to a retreat, but we didn't defeat the enemy. We've just del deluded them into a temporary loss. We broke through their elites and managed to shave down their foot soldier units a bit, but looking at the scope of their full force, we've only just begun to put a crack in it. So will we be getting this arc for a long time? How much longer will this arc be? I don't know, Sriracha. <laughs> I trust you, Sriracha, but why? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> On the other hand, we totally exhausted ourselves, taking on a huge army. If that enemy we just sent in a fleeing group, if if that enemy we just sent fleeing in a panic, regroup and attempt to, and, a, and attack again, we won't stand a chance. The Bakufu army is pursuing the enemy and trying to hinder the enemy from regrouping, but who can say how long that will last? Unless Sunny's friends up there in space can stop the headquarters somehow, taking tomorrow might be our limit. The limit, eh? I never thought I'd hear that whining coming out of your mouth. Crazy, the stuff you'll hear feeling if you live long enough. Did that sound like whining to you? Man, your hearing sure is shot. Whining isn't such a bad thing, Judocho, because the only ones that whine have people they can rely on. <laughs> You've grown up too, Judocho. <laughs> I'd rather you'd say that I was senile any day of the week. <laughs> then she laughs. Well, well, well. Us four Davis barely ever meet face to face, and when we do, it's usually all snarling at each other. But tonight looks like it'll be a hell of a good time. Oh, I love seeing all of them together. I mean, Kata's not here anymore, but... Um, uh, sorry, was I interrupting? It's no problem, Saigo. I was just thinking I wouldn't mind having a drink with you, too. Anyhow, you two contrarians could never sit quietly at a meeting unless there was some imminent threat of the end of the world. That's why we never have meetings like this anymore. <laughs> so, in a way, I'm almost thankful for the situation that we're in. There's been a whole lot we could have never seen, and we never would have seen, and a whole lot we never would have felt if it weren't for times like this. Because of that, I think it made me like humans a bit. <laughs> It even makes me think that if a night like this were the last night of this life, it wouldn't be so bad. Which one of the three of you is going to die? That's a death flag. That's probably uh, the only one of the three that... I mean, I guess Saigo historically did die. But I could also see Jirocho dying. I couldn't see Otose dying, really. If any of the three of them were to. But, I don't know. That sort of line does read a little bit death flagish. <laughs> If this were the last night of our lives, it wouldn't be so bad. Of course, one of you is going to die. <laughs> so, so, stories tend to work like that, but uh, we shall see. It depends on how much, again, uh, always how much Sirachi wants to flush all this out. Because he could take a very straightforward route and go straight to the end, or he could f prolong this indefinitely or do somewhere in between. I really, I really don't know. Let's see. Nah, I still haven't drunk, I still haven't drank enough. I suppose, even though we managed to chase the Liberation Army away somehow, the marks they left were big ones, yes? Ami Kagura. I can't say I'm too surprised. It feels like a miracle we were able to stave off that massive army at all. 
Honestly, the very fact that everyone is able to fight with everything looking so bleak is a miracle, too. It's not just the people of Kabuki Joe. People from all over Edo poured everything they had into being whatever help they could be. I see a pen. <laughs> Are those pandemoniums? <laughs> Maybe that's how these miracles happened. <laughs> Good, we're gonna confront this. <laughs> Except you've done nothing but been a nuisance for a while now. Pandemoniums are all-purpose snacks that help heal injuries and illnesses. Well, here, have <laughs> We're gonna bring the ship back. The ulti the true OTP of uh, Gintama, <laughs> Sh uh, Shinpachi, and uh, Pandemonium-san. Pandemoniums are all-purpose snacks that help heal injuries and illnesses as well. Here, have one. Are you listening? Who the hell would want one of those grotesque? I'm sorry. <laughs> here we go again. I'm sorry. I'm really just being a nuisance, aren't I? I was just worried, so I tagged along. What a bothersome woman I've become. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't get in your way anymore. Yes, you are a nuisance. If you're going to play with my emotions anymore, <laughs> then you should just stay by my side forever. You're the biggest nuisance here, yes? <laughs> Shinshan, Kakura-chan, would you quit it with a straight man <laughs> for a little bit? It's time to rest. Boss lady. Geromaru's son and the others have been all sorts of help to us by bringing relief to everyone who wore themselves out in battle. They've also said that they've got that they. Oops, they've also said they've still got plenty of fight left in them. And since they only showed up for the end of the battle, they're hoping to get some more screen time. <laughs> I want them to get more screen time too. Not gonna lie. Um, what was that last part? Geromaru's son and her friends have been taken care. Have been have been taken care of the injured by taking good by taking care of food supplies. It looks like they're about to be made into food supplies. <laughs> Same as son and her and his friends are keeping a lookout and guarding over the town. My look out is scary. What mine is <laughs> mine is clearly more fearsome. Somebody will be a lookout for that lookout. And Katsunoana is assisting with prayer. Tomorrow's weather will be refreshing and clear. Perfect weather for a war. <laughs> Don't try to cause a battle. If everyone's doing everything they can do to help now, then what we need you guys to do right now is rest. You've all worked hard, now is the time to just rest and not think about anything. But, but I'm anxious that the enemy could come back at any time. It's okay, we're here, so make sure, <laughs> so make sure to eat lots of good food and get lots of rest. <laughs> Sister, that's not sleeping, you're finishing them off. Good old Otai's cooking. Uh, then if you're just going to sleep like that, how about we try to sh shove it? How about we try just shoving pandemoniums in your mouth? Hey, why are dangerous people like this in, tar in charge of the food distribution? Isn't there any better food around? So you finally confessed. Honestly, I knew how you felt about me, Shinpachi Kun. I just pretended not to understand, knowing we could never be together. I guess I'll confess too. Then I've always really wanted to be eaten by you, Shinpachi Kun. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. <laughs> Bring me that pandemonium this instant. Shinpachi, you should seriously take a rest. I see. Then I think I'll accept that kind offer and take a rest. I'm on the next page. Gondo! <laughs> what were you doing all this time? I'm dead tired after the whole battle mining. It would make sense if you were fighting, but we didn't see any of the Shinsen Gumi. I'm dead tired after the whole battle. I finally made it. Back to you. <laughs> I'm home, Otaya-san. What? Welcome back, kondo <laughs> And then the pandemonium with Ota. <laughs> Otaya-san! Kondo-san! <laughs> Who are you calling Tai? <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. But did Otaya actually say... That, or was it the pandemonium talking the entire time? Or is this going to be left intentionally ambiguous? Whatever. <laughs> um, uh, oh, Otai-san, no matter how you feel, this is just too intense. Come on. <laughs> Let go of pandemonium-san! What is this hellscape I'm looking at? It seems that pandemonium's hallucinogenic effects are working too well. Hey, what's going on here? He said, with the world ending and everything, we might just have a shot. But, do here's Hijikata and Sogo. But it looks like everything is the same as it's always been. What do you mean, Hijikata-san? That's what Kondo-san wanted. He's always been fine with that sort of thing. Just when you come 
You come back just when the world looks like it's about to end. You police never do change. Unfortunately, the police do, don't have a duty to save the world, but they've still managed to keep themselves busy. By the looks of it, anyhow. I can't say for sure about the world, Zenzo and such on, but it does look like you at least did manage to protect your home, didn't you? Although it's a pretty blunt city, with no I'm homes or welcome backs, it's not welcome back, but maybe you'll lend an ear to something a bit different. Well done, well, job well done, everyone. Wrong one, boss lady. <laughs> so everybody's talking to the uh, pandemonium. So is, is this a more full explanation of how these things work that makes, <laughs> that it takes the appearance of whatever you're most, whatever person you're most interested in or something like that? Maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to rationalize a nonsense plot point of Sirachi's. But yes, this was actually the type of chapter that I have been wanting for quite I, I, I've mentioned it quite a few times that I sort of just like I wanted a nice quiet chapter to a little bit of a breather to space out the non-stop fighting that we've been got that we've been getting recently and maybe we'll get one or two more of these to address other characters like Kube checking on her Tsuki and then maybe have more characters arrive to fade to uh cue in the next stage the next phase of the story whatever that will be whether we're dealing because <sighs> the thing is we've got Obviously, we have a lot of characters come back, but we have two antagonists really to deal with. We have to deal with Ensho, and we have to deal with, obviously, Utsuro. So maybe we're going to deal with Ensho first, and then finally move on to Utsuro, or whether we've got to fight the same, whether we're going to deal with them at the same time. I don't know. I do, I do know that a Simon needs to come back, because she appeared at that chapter back in... 611? 610? Something around there? She that you could tell that she was there, so I'm looking forward to her return. So she's out. Oh, I think she was like she was, was she like the next one after they uh, showed uh, the the foreshadowing for the uh, Katsunawana and company. So that is that. Nice to see the Shinsengumi back. Hopefully they will play a more a uh, more prominent role in the coming chapters. I'm looking forward to that because uh, as as much as I I do love everything that we've been getting, uh, I miss the Shinsengumi. And I want to see more from them. But yeah, that's, I think that's all I have to say for this one. Good chapter, thoroughly enjoyable, lots of fun stuff, lots of nonsense. It'll be a, this will be a, it's a, ni it's a nice change of pace for the rest of the arc. Even though there has been a lot of comedy, this has been comparatively calm and it's much more like old Gintama, which is very, very nice to see in the midst of all of this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and or subscribe. Review for the Silver Soul arc to come or later this week, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.